Hello, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today's video is going to be a comparison on these two beauties right here and I'll be sharing my thoughts with you guys as well as pros and cons and in the end I will let you know which one I prefer. So if you guys are interested then please keep watching. Before we get into the video, if you guys are new here, hi, my name is Trisha. I like to make videos on luxury, beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and a little bit of baby product reviews as well. So please take a look around my channel, and if you see what you like, please do consider subscribing to my channel because I would love to have you. Now, let's get on to the video. So I recently made a video unboxing these two beauties. So if you guys have not seen that yet, please make sure you check that out before you watch this video. Video, I will leave it up here now. Alright, so as with any of my review comparison videos, I'm going to start with the general overview and I'm going to start with the leather version because I feel like this is more structured and I can, it's easier for me to show you guys. So this is her and as you guys know, this is the Safiano leather version and the dimensions on both of them are the exact same. So lengthwise it's you know what I'm gonna mention the lengths in centimeters because that's just what I measured I didn't go off from the product website so this is these are the measurements that I got so length is 23 centimeters and this middle part is 13 centimeters and this long edge is 18 centimeters and the width is about 7.5 centimeters so this is like legit a mini bag and this version as you guys know is the full leather version it comes with the cloche it says Prada re-edition 2005 and it's a nice little detail on it and this leather version does come with the gold hardware and it's like a brushed gold kind of hardware it's very beautiful and I feel like it goes perfectly with the color key holder on it is actually also gold to match with the hardware so everything matches and the strap is a woven nylon strap and it comes with this pouch right here and does have a clasp right here and as you can see it turns 360 degrees which is perfect because it's not going to get all wonky as you're walking and stuff so I love that and it does have little details on the clasp it says Prada right there and it does, I'm not quite sure, I'll be honest, I'm not quite sure what this part is for, but here you go. And this is the shortest setting, actually, of the strap. I will include the numbers here. Um, so that's the shortest, and it does, it, it is adjustable all the way up to here. So you will, you will gain about this much in length if you were to go to the longest part which I will show you during my mod shots and if I did fail to mention this is in the cameo beige color and this is all detachable by the way <laughs> this is all detachable and it does have the gold zipper and the beautiful enamel Prada logo right there again in the gold which is very cohesive and the interior the zipper is also very smooth by the way and the interior looks like so again very uniform and beautiful and it does have the Prada little enamel in there as well and you guys probably already know that this part is detachable as well it also has these leather details right there I think this bag is simpler so to speak because it's just leather and the woven nylon strap but the nylon version right here is very special I think because this is actually made from Econil? Econil? I'm not sure how to say it but it is recycled purified plastic collected from the ocean actually so I thought that was super cool that Prada does that and like this was like old like plastic that was in the ocean from like fishing nets and textile fiber waste how cool is that like I would never have guessed in a million years so I think that's super cool about this bag and features are again just identical as that except this does have the leather Safiano leather cloche right here here's the key cloche and it is also in the Safiano leather like this whole tab is and again it says Prada re-edition in the silver and it does have the silver key holder the piping on the edges 
are also Safiano leather. Like all the extra details are in the Safiano leather and even the zipper pull is in the Safiano leather. And if you open it, oh, and it does have the silver enamel block in the front and also the interior is the black. I love how Prada color coordinates between the interior and the exterior. I just love it, it makes me happy. So that is the overview on these two bags. Now let's get to the price. So as you guys know, Prada just had another price increase and as of May 2022, the nylon version retails for 1,750. When I bought it, it was 1,550 so that's like a $200 jump and I remember like a while ago was like in the low thousands so this is definitely holding your value and the leather version here currently retails for $2,300 and when I bought it it was $2,250 well there is tax on top of this amount but still there was only a $50 increase on this one so not quite as steep as the nylon. So as of right now, the difference between these two bags is about $550 and the tax that goes on top of it. Let's get to the mod shots part because I feel like this would be very helpful for you guys. And for reference, I am 5'1 and I weigh about 130 pounds. And this, I'm gonna show you guys the mod shots with like the longest strap option as well as the shortest, just so you guys get an idea. So let's get to it. inside these bags and see if there's any difference on these bags and I'm gonna start with the nylon version and I obviously took the strap off of both because it was just convenient that way so now let's see what fits and the bag that I'm currently carrying is my boulon right here and as you can see this is much bigger than those two and it is pretty full and don't mind my mask hanging here this is just how I do it so I don't forget to take it so let's get to it the first thing that I want to add is my little baby wallet with my car keys and you guys probably I do have a video on the recto verso versus the Omprompt key pouch on this video if you guys have not seen that I will link it up here now but my leather recto verso had issues and I actually switched it out for the monogram and I enjoy this so much more than the Omprompt key pouch as well as the leather because this is very slim. Do you guys see how slim this is? I absolutely love it and so this is the first thing in here. I'm just gonna drop it in. So that's what it looks like in there and the second thing is this zippy coin purse so this is another new purchase that i made i didn't really do an unboxing on it but i will let me know if you guys are interested and i can make a video on it so this is the giant monogram zippy coin purse and this has like all my store credit cards and gift cards and stuff like that in there i'm gonna drop that here as well right there still lots more room left and airpods scrunchy a uh, lip what is it this is like a lipstick i love it if you guys have not tried it it's amazing the formula is so smooth 
and this is from Kaja, by the way, right there, Kaja, and I just, I just had to get it because of the heart, and I just love the product too, so it worked out really well, so that, and hand lotion, sunglasses, oh, and I have a fruit pack for my daughter, um, so I'm going to stick that in there as well, a lip balm, and I also have this handy dandy purse holder. So I'm gonna drop that in there as well. And this is my phone. It is the ginormous one that they have out right now. And I'm gonna try. And this is gonna go in here as well. You guys, look, my phone's in there. Everything is in there and it is perfect. So I could arrange it a little bit better, but even so, this is stunning. And even though like it pretty much fit whatever that I had in my balloon. So this is a mighty little bag. Now let's try and fit all of these in the leather version. Again, here you go. Okay, so wallet, rectoversal with my keys, purse hook, lotion, fruit pack, AirPod, lip balm, and lipstick, scrunchie, sunglasses, and my phone. Okay, so you guys may be surprised, but I cannot close this. So maybe if I like arrange it a little bit, like shake it around. So once I make some room for it and just shimmy it around a little bit, it fits. So that's what she looks like. So again, both of them can hold equal amounts. And this just, since the leather is a little bit more sturdy, it needs to be arranged in a more space saving kind of way so you can close the zipper without any problem the nylon on the other hand just zips because this it's fabric you guys so it's gonna be more giving so now that you guys saw what fits let's get on to the pros and cons of both these bags all right now on to the pros and cons so I'm gonna start with the pros and cons that pertain to both the bags so the first one is regarding the straps because they are essentially the absolute same and the only difference is that the leather one comes with the hmm, leather pouch and the nylon one has the nylon pouch so this is them up front now the strap, since this is woven nylon, I've noticed that if I don't store it right, it gets like wrinkles on it. And the first time that I got the black one, it had wrinkles on it and I literally had to like iron it to get the wrinkles out. So this needs to be stored properly. Another con when it comes to the straps, is the fact that same with like the multi push it accessoire I made a detailed comparison video on that as well if you guys are interested I will leave that up here now so please do check it out um, same with that is that since this gets hooked on the strap only at this certain point you have to plan how you're gonna put it on the bag because you want this to be on the front because you don't want this on the back and have someone like take this off or something while you're like walking in a busy crowded street or something so you have to be mindful of that as well when you're using this and also with the hardware like there is there's already this chain on here and this so the hardware is prone for scratching as with any of these multi push up type bags and these little square pouches right here these actually tend to like flip and flop around when you walk so that's a little bit annoying to me because I wanted to just lay like that when I'm walking but that's not the case I think the issue with that is that the clasp here is also like it turns 360 degrees so when you're walking it tends to just flop around and be like that it's not a big deal but it's just annoying to me that I have to like have it this way and I just have to like flop it back whenever I see that it's not in the right position. So that's the, see, there you go. <laughs> um, that was the second con pertaining to the straps. And the third con is for this strap specifically or any of the lighter colored straps if you choose to go that route is the first time that I ever took the leather version out, we went out for brunch and I, it was an Italian restaurant and they had yummy bread with olive oil and stuff like that and the oil actually dripped and it got on the strap because instead of putting it away I chose to wear it so 
that got on the strap and it was it's literally like an oil stain like with on any other fabric so I had to come home wash it out and I guess that brings me to the pro is that since it is woven nylon you can easily take a little bit of soap and just rub it right off so I can't even find that stain on here anymore but it is still annoying to me that it stains but much better than like Louis Vuitton Vachetta like if something got on there that's just it like even water you get a little beauty mark there so I guess that's a pro when it comes to this and I guess my con was that that the stain would be visible on here as opposed to this black one if I got like any oil or whatever on here it just it wouldn't be as visible as the lighter color change so I'm saying just watch out for that so now the other pro when it comes to both these bags is the fact that it's very very versatile so if you want to go for like a utilitarian sporty look you can do that as well as just do what I did remove the strap and it turns into an evening going out kind of bag which is amazing and you can pretty much do anything in between as well so I love that about these and I also want to mention that a pro with these is the fact that the zipper is so buttery smooth like I feel like it's a little bit smoother on the nylon version but I'm very impressed by the zipper it's it's high quality and I love it on both of these and also this chain surprisingly enough it's very light and super comfortable to hold and it see look at the clearance right there so it's perfect for both I'll show you the gold one as well just so I feel like this gold it feels a little different it feels a little bit more don't take this in the wrong sense but it feels a little bit more plasticky but it is literally very comfortable and I don't think it's plastic so it's just very nice and comfortable it has this little slip to it that I love and again look at the clearance it's perfect and these bags are amazing now let's get to the specific specific cons and I am gonna start with the leather and I'm gonna talk about the cons on this one first the first one is that as you guys probably saw in the what fits part of this video it's harder to actually fit like throw things in there and then close the zipper it has to be planned and organized a little bit more so that it actually fits into this shape so it takes a little bit more time like if I'm standing like when I took this out it was already stuffed and if I had to like put my phone in there in order to zip it I had to like jumble it around a little bit more because this is a lot more sturdy and maintains its shape a lot more than the nylon one and also secondly from what you guys probably saw in the what fits area this does show indentations like on the leather if you stuff it too much and if it's not like put in properly so it would show like little bulges on there and i feel like that's a little bit more evident on this one than the nylon also as you guys probably hear you hear that this chain is super loud on here right next to the leather so whenever you're walking and if you're not using the strap it's gonna make you, people are gonna know you're coming okay <laughs> so this is way louder than the nylon version now let's get to the pros and the first pro is that this is an extremely comfortable bag to wear I've had this I've worn this one like six plus hours at a stretch and it was just super comfortable I didn't even know I was wearing anything so I absolutely love it and I do want to mention that this is probably common sense but I'm gonna add I'm gonna add in here that this bag as such is much heavier than the nylon version because this is like as light as air so just a little tiny piece of common sense information the second pro is that this leather is super gorgeous like I love Safiano leather from Prada and it's very durable and it's just absolutely beautiful and it's made so so well and this color especially I feel like it's one of those nudes that will literally go with whatever you wear like you can't go wrong with this color it's absolutely stunning and the last pro is that even this is a full leather bag and I think the price point is friendly compared to other brands knowing that it is a full leather bag so like I think this is this currently retails for twenty three hundred, and there are Louis Vuitton canvas bags that go for much higher. So on that note, I feel like this is a good 
value for money. Now let's get to the cons on this. As you know, it's nylon. And as you can just see from me holding this up, it's literally like a cloth. It's just gonna let gravity do its work and this be, you know, just be a little wrinkled and not hold its structure as much. So I was thinking about getting an organizer for this, just so even at least that when it's in storage, it would maintain its shape a little bit better. So I was gonna get an organizer for this just, because, just to deal with that issue. And my second issue is also with the fact that since this is nylon, you can see every single fleck of dust on here, dust or any particle. And that's just, and I don't know, it bothers me. So I'm constantly just like rubbing it off and dusting it off, just trying to make it look perfect. Another con for me on this bag is the price. It's very, very steep for a nylon bag, like $1,700. That is, a whole lot of money for nylon and it's just gonna keep going up I think so the question to ask I guess is is this worth the thousand seven hundred dollars those are my cons on this now let's get to the pros the first pro is that you guys this bag is so lightweight like I can like this literally nothing it's this amazing, amazing bag that holds so much and it's so lightweight. So it's essentially just going to be whatever weight of the items you have inside here. And I also love how it's so environmental friendly and made with like literally trash from the ocean. But it's they've done a beautiful, beautiful job on it. And I think it's amazing that they have that initiative to do that. And... I love it. So when you buy a Prada bag, you are essentially helping to clear the ocean. Another pro is that this is, again, like the Cameo Beige one. This is classic Prada. This will literally go with any outfit you put on and elevate it so, so much. And I like this version with the strap because I feel like it looks so good, especially with like a cord set. You just throw this on and it just makes your outfit and you're good to go. My very most important pro about this bag, it's so durable and so easy to clean. You guys, TMI, but the first time I ever took this out, my daughter like ate like blueberry and she was in the car and she decided to vomit all over this thing. It killed me. I was like dying inside, but obviously I took care of her first and then... All I did was grab some paper towel and some water and just literally it was on the front of this bag and it was everywhere and look at it now. It's like, what throw up? Where? It's It cleaned up so well and even with like the scent, all I had to do, just, just a little bit of soapy water took care of all of that. And so for all my younger... <laughs> viewers out there, if you want to go clubbing with this thing, get like alcohol and stuff on it, it's totally fine you don't have to worry about it this it will come right off and however i can only attest for this black color i'm not sure if it would have stained the bag if it was a lighter color like the um desert beige or the light blue color or the pink i'm not sure if it would have stained that so i feel like this is the safest color to get in the nylon because this is like indestructible and it's just such a breeze to clean i heard that people even throw this in their washing machines oh my gosh like I would never ever do that I it's it's more like it's more of like a spot clean for me but yeah now my overall thoughts and which one I prefer out of these two so mm, which one do you guys think I like so I want to say so if you have it depends on your lifestyle and what you're looking for so if you want some more of an i want to say more elegant and more classic kind of bag i would say go for the leather especially if you're like wanting to like take it into the office or you, all you have to do is just get rid of the strap and it's just it's just stunning so if that's more your cup of tea, then I would definitely say go with leather. However, if you're more into running errands and it's more for like daily use and stuff like that, I would say go for this nylon. And especially if you are, um, I want to say in the younger age group, um, I would say go for this nylon one because it's, like I said, it's indestructible. Your friend, if you, you're, you're out and about, you're your friends or somebody even mamas if you're toddler 
cross up on it like mine did or spills their juice or whatever this is totally fine so as you guys can probably tell out of these two even though i love the nude color on this i prefer this one way more and i decided that the day the accident happened this is just so wonderful and it's so lightweight easy to wear and it just i absolutely love this bag so much and if is it worth the thousand seven hundred bucks i honestly think so if i were to lose this bag right now i would definitely repurchase this because i think this is amazing and it is also very reminiscent of the very first bag that my parents bought me when we moved here to the united states in 2000 so i love it so much and i think the re-editions are one of the best bags to actually have in your collection and it's it's just wonderful i have like I'm very happy with my purchase and I'm so happy that I kind of want to add one more with the nylon strap and those went up in price as well I think those cost like about thousand plus now they used to be in the 700 range and I'm kicking myself for not getting it earlier but I will I will get it um, but yeah these are amazing pieces to have in your collection so definitely worth it and if you were thinking about adding honestly either of these i would say go right ahead all right guys so that does it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it or found it useful if you did please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it will help me out a lot so that's all for today guys i hope you guys are all doing well take care and i will see you right here with another video very soon